Welcome to module 36, Local Connectivity. Last time we studied path connectivity, connectivity components, and also studied one important example of topology sine curve, which illustrates that Connectivity need not imply path connectivity in particular. The intervals are connectivity. Intervals is connected, right? In fact, the connectivity was thought to explain the intermediate value theorem of an interval. All right. And that is the key for path connectivity implying connectivity. So, though we showed that the other way around is not true, there is very much close relation between them. So, now let us look at what happens inside Rn instead of just R. Okay, R is too simplistic for further investigation for deeper analysis of the whole thing that is why we are going to into rn and get some experience there and then uh, study you know introduce more general concepts and so on that is the whole idea so here is a result on rn take any non-empty open set you can take empty set but that is not going to make any difference non-empty open subset of Rn, it is connected if and only if it is path connected. So here is a strong result. Connectivity need not imply path connectivity in general. But here is a, namely open subsets of Rn, connectivity is the same thing as path connectivity. It is not just for intervals any open subset. If it is connected, it is path connected. Okay, one way is we have seen already, path connectivity implies connectivity. So, we have to see only the other way around here. Okay, so start with an open subset A. We wish to show that given any two points of A, there is a path joining them. Completely inside A, not inside Rn. Rn is no, it is no joke. It is it is very straightforward because all Rn is a vector space, so it is a convex set. Now A is not given to be a convex set. A is only open set is given. Okay. So this follows if we show that all points of A can be joined to one chosen point Z0. That Z0 is not very specific. Any Z0 you choose. First of all, any two points can be joined, means any point can be joined to Z0, but that is enough we have seen earlier. So let us form a subset of A, all Z belonging to A, such that Z can be joined to Z0 by a path inside A. What we wanted to show is that it is the whole of A. Okay, starting with an open set and fixing a point Z0, we make this subset. But this subset, which I have denoted by U, what we want to show is this U is the whole of A. Now, the method of proof is going to be a, like a principle here. How to, how to use connectivity to show a lot of other results. So this is the starting uh, of this one which you have not done so far. So observe this uh, method. Okay. We shall show that U is a non-empty open set such that its complement is also open. 
then because a is you start with a connected then you want to show that this u is the whole of a right because a is connected it will imply that complement of u cannot be non empty it has to be empty otherwise u and u complement will make a separation of a so u must be the whole of a so what i have to show a this u is non empty this is open its complement is also open or equivalently you can show that u and its complements are both closed either way so we will show that both of them are open okay the first thing we observe is z not itself is inside u right because z not can be connected to z not by the constant loop therefore u is non empty that is easy now suppose z is inside u then i have to show a small ball open ball around z is contained inside u so that is enough to show that u is open okay so fix a path gamma from a to inside a from z not to z that is the meaning of z belongs to u there must be a path so you fix it okay so there is a path from z not to z now completely inside a but now a is an open set okay z is inside u but z is inside a also by definition u is a subset of a therefore you can find a positive delta such that the open disk of radius delta around z is completely contained inside a okay but then every point of w every point w inside this open ball okay open disk can be certainly joined to z because center all that you have to do is the line segment z w z line segment z w is completely contained inside b delta z so it is contained inside a okay so gamma comes from z not to z take this line segment that will be a path from z not to w therefore w is inside you that just means that b delta of z the whole of b delta z is inside you so one part is over that u is open this argument is very similar it will also show that u is closed or complement of u is open okay so let us just uh, get through it suppose z is not a point of u that means it is in a complement okay then no point the this b delta z is the same choice you can do that namely it is contained inside a okay then no point of w no point w of b delta z could have been joined to the whole of z not okay inside a because if that is the case then z not to w i can always take uh, the line segment so if there is a path from z not to w any one point right then then we could have joined all of them okay that means that none of the points in b delta z are inside you which is same thing as b delta z is contained in the complement so the complement is also open. okay so that completes the proof that u is equal to whole of a therefore a is path connected so i repeat this process suppose you want to show something holds for the whole some some subset which you have defined then you make a subset of that set which is those points for which the property holds 
luckily if you can show that it is first of all non empty and open and co complement is also open then you have finished the proof that that subset must be the whole of it so this is a principle okay this is like a meta theorem it can be used several times it has been used several times in topology okay so here what we have what we have used what was the key the key is that the basic open subsets namely the balls they are path connected any two points there can be joined because balls are actually convex so that is what we have used right as usual what matters for us is that the connectivity of the ball path connectivity of the ball so now you see if in a topological space basic open subsets are path connected then the same proof will work namely any connected open set will be path connected and that is our next theorem before that perhaps we should make this property as a you know you could name it and that is what is called a local path connectivity okay since we are going to study both connectivity and local connect local path connectivity and path connectivity together maybe you should do the same thing for connectivity also so we will have two different definitions here start with a topological space we say x is locally connected at a point this is again point wise if for every neighborhood u of x there is a connected open neighborhood of x inside x okay such that that v is contained inside u start with any neighborhood you must be able to get a smaller open neighborhood of the point which is connected that is called locally connected at the point x okay for one open one neighborhood if you find it that is not enough for every neighborhood you must be able to find this such a thing smaller one so that is the kruskov's local property okay no matter how small or so how big you choose the, with the original neighborhood inside that you must be able to find an open connected neighborhood if you replace connectivity by path connectivity what you get is locally path connected at that point just like continuity and other things if such a thing is true for all the points of x then we say the space is locally connected or locally path connected as the case may be okay i repeat suppose the space x has the property that for every point x it is locally connected then x is called locally connected same thing if at every point it is locally path connected then we say x itself is locally path connected okay now as anticipated this was only a name we have given what theorem we have immediately this theorem which is exactly the carbon copy of uh, the what were whatever we did for rn a space is locally path connected locally path connected first of all if and only if every path component of every open set is open okay so i am going towards uh, characterization of locally path connectivity or locally connectivity first let us do it for connectivity drop out this part locally connected if and only if every component of every open set is open okay what i have to do 
take an open set look at its connected components all of them are open how do you show that a connected component is open take a point there then you must produce an open subset contained inside that but local connectivity says that at each point given an any open set so you started with an open set remember that given any op point there is a connected open subset therefore that connected open subset is contained in the component because component is the largest one so every point has a connected subset which is open right so the union of all these open sets will be the connected component so the each connected component of an open set is also open the converse is obvious because these connected components themselves you can take it as as neighbors okay start with any open set i want to find a neighborhood which is connected and contained in that open set take the connected component over okay exactly same way the path connectivity also works because now the property that i have used is uh, there is no difference between the conditions okay just remove just put the connectivity wherever you have used path connectivity that's all so once again i repeat as can be seen immediately it follows that every open subset of a euclidean space is locally path connected that is property we have used now you have given a name clearly locally path connected implies locally connected just like path connectivity implies local connectivity the above theorem in fact contains a proof of the fact that every locally path connected and connected space is path connected okay directly i could have proved by using the carbon copy of the proof of the theorem that we proved for rn but here is a shortcut because i have already proved a stronger result here okay so let us see how this proves that you start with a connected space which is locally path connected okay therefore it is locally connected therefore its components are open but it is a connected space already okay right so how do you use that it is locally path connected if all components are open all components are closed also in a partition if the partition members are open they are closed also if they are closed you cannot say they are open because what suppose you are taking one 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 of the members look at all the other members each of them is open so union is open therefore this set is closed but a is connected if the connected components are open okay the you can't have more than one component okay so that is the proof here understand so why a uh, this the by, by the way this doesn't this just doesn't uh, uh, it, it is stronger than just saying that locally path connected and connected implies path connected so, okay this is stronger thing every open subset of a path connected space okay has the property that all the components are open similarly for connectivity so these two two different statements but use the fact that path connectivity local or otherwise implies connectivity local or otherwise so all that i have to do so this is a very strong thing so remember this one properly okay if we drop the condition open on we in the definition in the definition of a local connectivity or local path connectivity i insisted 
let us go back again once again every neighborhood of x there is a connected path connected whatever open neighborhood of b which is connected so suppose i drop this openness here every neighbor has a smaller neighborhood is connected that is obviously a weaker form of the local connectivity so we will call it as weakly local connected similarly you can make weakly locally path connected whether it is really weak or not that needs to be verified sometimes a weaker condition weakly looking condition may be equivalent right so this is what i repeat here this is what i have done you drop out the openness of v in the definition of definition given above we get perfectly valid definition of locally connectedness why i am giving this one is some some authors may give you this as a definition <clears throat> but then we be careful our definition is stronger so this is called weakly locally connected there are spaces which have points at which the space is weakly locally connected but not locally connected once i give you this example then you know that this concept is really weaker than the original local connectivity okay so we will come to those examples however it turns out that if a space is weakly locally connected at all of its points then it is locally connected in our sense so this is why many authors use this condition because they are not defining it to point wise they uh, they are only interested in local connectivity as a global thing so they define it everywhere so they are overlooking this one that's why they are all happy they are not much bothered about okay that is all so however it turns out that if a space is weakly locally connected all its points then it is locally connected okay this theorem use it cleverly it is not very difficult okay to prove that if something is weakly locally connected at every point then it is actually locally connected all right okay you have to work out that when you have to think about how to prove that it is not difficult only then you understand the difference here see you have a neighborhood open set you have a smaller neighborhood which is connected that neighborhood may not be open so to get an open set you may have to get take a smaller one the smaller one may not be connected you see you take a connected space not all subspaces are connected otherwise the whole thing would have been uh, you know just you global connectivity oh, enough okay when you go to smaller set or bigger set connectivity may fail all right so that is why all these things have to be carefully first of all understood the definition should be carefully understood in several topological problems about the plane r cross r local connectivity or absence of it plays a very crucial role we won't have time to study all that especially in the dynamics of c you know there is a lot of what are yulia sets mendel brown sets and so on okay in that this local connectivity and local path connectivity are important notions connected components of a space are closed subsets of the space which we have seen once you take a connected connected space connected subset its closure is also connected therefore components must be closed further if x is locally connected 
then connected components are also open this is what we have just seen similarly path connected components of a locally path connected space are all open and hence they are closed but i am not saying that without path local path connectivity take any space and take a path connected component it it may not be closed <laughs> so you have to be careful about that so we have we have already seen an example of this in the topology sign car so let us just go through the proof of this one we have seen that each connected component c of x is closed right take connected component take the closure of that that is also connected but it's larger no it should not be larger because c is a connected component so therefore c equal to c bar now assume that x is locally connected then for each x belonging to c we can find a neighbor road open neighbor road which is connected therefore every point has a open set contained inside c right actually why it should be contained inside c every point you have we have seen that i am proving it here, here again c union u will be connected right but c is contained in the c union but c is maximal so they are equal so you have already proved it but i have i have just put the proof here again the same thing works for path connectivity also if c is path connected and u is path connected and the intersection has a one point there then the whole thing is also path connected so that that part is the same thing locally path connected or locally connected implies the components are open okay so next time we will see more and more examples especially to bring out the difference between local path connectivity and local connectivity thank you